A rare moment of bipartisanship. A bill aiming to combat sexual assault in the military has garnered the support it needs to secure a vote in the Senate. And here to discuss are the two women behind that bill, New York Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand and Iowa Republican Senator Joni Ernst. Welcome to you, Senator Gillibrand and Senator Ernst. We appreciate both of your time. We know you're busy women, so thank you for being with us on the show. And Senator Gillibrand, I'll begin with you. You've been at this bill or a version of it for the past eight years. So what is it about this bill now that is making it go through? Well, there's been three major changes. Uh, first of all, we have a commander in chief who wants to do this. Uh, President Joe Biden ran on this issue. He thought serious crimes should be taken out of the chain of command. And that's created space for uh, generals who are currently active duty to come forward. Um, so now we have a, a surge of support. Second, we have Senator Ernst. Um, she has uh, really looked at this issue intensely over the last six years. Uh, she not only is the only uh, Republican female combat commander uh, veteran in the Senate, uh, but she also is a survivor. And so she understands how important this is. And her leadership has made a difference in earning the support of other, other people across the board. And then the third thing that's changed is a scathing report out of Fort Hood, the fact that the DOD investigated what happened at Fort Hood after a young woman was murdered, uh, uh, and they believe from her, her by her harasser. And so that report said that there was a toxic command climate that was in fact permissive of sexual assault and sexual harassment. And the combination of those three things really has changed the landscape so that now we have over 60 uh, co-sponsors in the Senate for this bill and probably over 70 supporters of the bill. And we stand there looking at you two, uh, I assume, vaccinated folks standing close together uh, here today, but a Democrat and a Republican. And Senator Ernst, yes, this could have all kinds of impact and change um, in, the, in the military in terms of making sure people are brought to justice and which cases are, 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 are brought. But also, is, is this potentially going to change an entire culture in the military? Well, I do think so. I, I think for a, a positive way, though, of course, we do want to keep as much uh, control within the chain of command. This bill does allow that. While the decision making for a case like se sexual assault will go to a specialized prosecutor, a trained prosecutor, it still does allow the notification of the commander of what is going on within that unit. It does allow the commander to make positive changes within that command. Senator Gillibrand, uh, and it's a beautiful thing to see the two of you side by side, side doing something together for the betterment of, of women there in the military. I'm curious, Senator Gillibrand, you've been at this for some time, as we pointed out, eight years plus. Where, why is this your passion? What brought you to this legislation in wanting so badly to push it forward and to see it through to today? Well, as someone who served on the Armed Services Committee for the last 10 years, I've traveled the globe and talked to men and women who are serving. I've talked to them at Fort Drum, uh, our major base in New York State. And when they tell me the stories of not only being brutally assaulted, but then not only disbelieved, but then retaliated against, it breaks your heart. And it enrages me uh, and has really made me determined to value their service. One last thing here, and my colleague and I, uh, we're so uh, excited to see you two standing there together for a lot of reasons. <laughs> we cover a lot of politics, but we, uh, we don't, just the sight of you uh, there and to know you've worked together. We had uh, Senator Hirono, one of your colleagues on not long ago, uh, talking about the COVID-19 hate crimes uh, act that passed 94 to one in the Senate. Yeah. Still, you talk about you two were able to do this because of friendships, right? That was necessary to, to put you kind of over the edge here. Are we gonna see more of this? Why does it still feel like this is too few and far between that we see something like this taking place in Congress? Well, I do have to say that uh, there is a lot of bipartisanship that happens within the United States Senate. Of course, a lot of the, uh, the disparities between our party, that's normally what is highlighted in the media. But when you get down to the nitty gritty and what's happening on the ground here in Washington, D.C., it, it is these friendships that bring people together. It is the passions. Senator Gillibrand talked about her passion of protecting men and women in, the, in uniform.
Um, certainly, I have served in uniform. I am a survivor. We share that passion. So coming together on this bill, making sure that, one, we are putting prevention in place and educating not only our current leaders on the scourge of sexual assault, but future leaders as well. Um, but then also the prosecution portion of it, which Kirsten has worked so hard on. Senators Joni Ernst and Kirsten Gillibrand, thank you both so much for being with us today. Come back anytime. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.